Today, I am going to talk about the complement system. And as you may know that, there are more than 29 complement components. They are circulating in inactive form. This from C1 to C29. And there are three pathways of the complement, the classical one, alternative, and manose binding lectin pathway. And now I am going to talk about the classical pathway of the complement. The classical pathway of the complement depends on formation of the immune complex and the immune complex as you know that it is formed of as can be seen here uh, it is formed of antibody this is the antibody two antibodies they capture an antigen or a microorganism so this we call it immune complex immune complex it means antigen plus antibody. So, formation of this immune complex will activate the complement component number one. And as can be seen here, the complement component number one, it is formed of C1Q. It is big stick one big stick and six small sticks, three each side, they end in or by a knob. And this we call it C1Q. And as can be seen here, this is the enzymatic part of the C1, C1R and C1S. So binding of the immune complex to the C1Q will activate C4 or complement component number 4 and as can be seen here the complement component number 4 it is composed of a small fraction and big fraction the small fraction is known as C4A the big fraction is known as C4B for B. So, this complement, component number four, following the formation of this complex, will cleave. Cleave into C4A and C4B. And also, formation of this unit or complex will activate also C2 and C2 similar to C4 will cleave into C2A, C2B so C4B will bind to C2A or C2B in some references and this we call it C3 convertase will add on complement component number 3 and it will cleave it into C3A C3B. C3B will bind to this and this known as C5 convertase will act on the C5. Then C5 will cleave into C5A, C5B, C5B will bind. Following that, now the machinery is on, so we don't need to cleave more complement components. So C6, C7, C8 will bind without cleavage. And C4B, C2A, C3B, C5B, C6, C7, C8, they look like a key. So they will bind to C9, which look like a lock, key unlock. And this molecule is known 
as membrane attack complex or mag this mag in turn will remove phospholipids from the surface of the bacteria and this will lead to rupture of the bacteria however some components they did not take part in this mag or in this uh, molecule these components are c4a c3a c5a c4a c3a they simulate release of histamine and as you know that histamine will lead to increased capillary permeability and vasodilatation c5a this c5a will attract cells for example neutrophils so attraction attracted cells or influx of cells together with increased capillary permeability and vasodilatation this will lead to inflammation and as you know that inflammation play very crucial role in case of uh, infection or bacterial infection it makes the area for the pathogen or for the microorganisms or for bacteria or for whatever living microorganism unfavorable but however in some instances these three components which are known as anaphylatoxins may lead to inflammation and may lead to immunopathogenesis of some uh, disorders for example systemic lupus in systemic lupus erythematosus uh, it may lead to diabetes mellitus type 1 and this is known as insulitis it is due to inflammation of beta cell of Langerhans and these anaphylatoxins also may lead to postreptococcal glomerulonephritis or they may lead to skin uh, disorders for example uh, bullous uh, benfigoid thank you very much professor ahmed bolad